I've always figured it's my chore, it's my responsibility in life to bring happiness to people, and I'm happy to accept it. Um, my dad left when I was eight. I, you know, I didn't know him very well, and we kind of find escapisms from all of that kind of stuff as, as a kid, and I found it through Stanley and, and, and comics. Uh, we were at a comic uh, convention maybe three months before he passed, and uh, I'm not even sure if he knew who I was, but he made me feel like I was important. And, you know, he was just a sweet man. I feel like I met him when I was 10 years old, dealing with bigotry and not knowing where to run to as a young black kid and not, not knowing who could represent me or who was championing for me. I could open those books, man, and just dive right in. What I found really interesting were all these these quotes of him in the, you know, 50 years ago of of writing about the social issues and and wanting to give hope to to kids. Nice work, kid. Does it ever become just work? Do you ever get tired of it? How can you get tired of of seeing that smile on the face of people you're talking to? Of course not. He made ordinary people believe that they could be superheroes and that they could do unbelievably great things to better other people. Marvel was for all of us that felt like we were not included, felt like we couldn't be who we were because of our sexuality, our race, our class, and Stanley created this place for us. With great power comes great responsibility, and now we're showing everyone that anyone can wear the mask. That a superhero doesn't have to be a handsome alien, it can be you, and it can be her. All these characters and these worlds that are so otherworldly, and yet we sort of hope to see ourselves in them and I think he really was someone who did create these superheroes but with great humanity. I don't want to go, I don't want to go, sir, please. His imagination affected the world in a way where it's gonna, it's gonna live long past, you know, his years on Earth. The one thing that will never change is the way we tell our stories of heroism. Those stories have room for everyone, regardless of their race, gender, religion, or color of their skin. The only things we don't have room for are hatred, intolerance, and bigotry. And we all come together in the body of Marvel. And you, you're part of that family. You're part of the Marvel Universe that moves ever upward and onward to greater glory. In other words, Excelsior!